Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First of all, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, and I do so by Hashem of my Shekel Shai. Second of all, I'd like to give double honor and glory to the elders who taught us the truth and paved the way for us to come to God's truth. But today, we come back with a quick video on the more you, the more you know, is uh, the more pain you're going to go through. Because like, because like, when you're in a world, you don't really know anything about this truth. So like, I guess Satan isn't really. I mean, Satan's like a uh, in your life still, but like, but like, uh, Satan isn't really messing with you because you're not trying to be righteous. But like, the more you come out of this world and do righteousness, like, the more you're gonna be tempted. What's it called? Uh, let me well, let me get in the book of Ecclesiasticus two or Sirach two, Sirach two and one. My son, if thou, if thou comest. It's like it, my son. If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Like, get your heart good with God and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Like, when all is breaking loose, don't make haste. But uh, verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at the last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, Take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a, to a lower state. Calm, because like when you come to this truth, like your finances might not be the same, or like relationships with people might not be the same, or anything like that. But like whatever is brought upon you, take cheerfully. For gold is tried in fire and except men in the furnace of adversity. Like just like how gold is tried in fire to remove all the other metals and its impurities. So like when uh uh men are tried like a uh, by going through stuff like so the most high the most high test men by putting in them through stuff to see like um to like remove wickedness from them and to see if they'll stand believe in him and he will help thee order thy way aright and trust in him come trust in the lord and believe in him and he will help thee uh but the other place i wanted to go to is to further uh nail this point is book of Sirach 1 and 18. I mean, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. For much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Constantly. Like, the more you learn in this truth, you can't, stuff like, uh, you can't eat pork and how pork is and everything. Like, trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, be angry. And, like, you're gonna be sad, like, oh, I used to eat this all the time, but now I can't eat it anymore because I found out it has pork in it. Or I can't wear the, my favorite shirt anymore because it's not a hundred percent fabric stuff like that it's so like the more you go in this truth the more you're going to be tempted the more sorrowful you're going to get but just because all that is happening doesn't mean like you is become a sad and depressed person but you fight through all of that and you share the lord because the most high eventually if you are the seed of israel pastor lenny usually and um it was predestined for you to be receive eternal salvation and ultimately you will overcome but anyways this is just a quick video and i hope somebody edify if i say anything wrong or amiss please correct me in the comments or send me a, send me a an email or a message my instagram but anyways i hope somebody got edified and i pray y'all persons i pray for y'all and i pray to y'all they pray for each other. But I like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh and I use so by Shimma Shakel Shah. Shalom.